I'm sitting here right here with my baby and you know there's been a lot of stuff going through my mind about politics I wanted to do this video a lot earlier but something happened with my son and uh, um, for those of you who follow me know that my son had surgery he had some kind of um, a little muscle inside his stomach that goes into the intestine it was uh, too big so they had to shrink that or whatever but he's doing good now so this video about politics let me just tell you a lot of you out there think uh, Hillary Clinton is the worst of the worst a lot of you think it's uh, Donald Trump is the worst of the worst a lot of you think Obama is the worst of the worst all of these can be true and all of these cannot be true yes Hillary I think has lied and has done some things that she shouldn't do and she maybe she should go to jail for it who are we to judge maybe she pays her way uses the little money she's got to pay her way out of things maybe she doesn't do we truly know if we followed her step by step have we followed Donald Trump step by step maybe he said some things in the past that are not right and maybe Obama has done things that is not right you know but for us as Christians to say that they're a part of the Illuminati, that they are the devil, and they're not human and stuff like that, that is totally wrong. The Bible talks about praying for our enemies, about praying for those that hurt us. And the Bible also talks about that God wishes that none shall perish, but everybody, every human being, come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ his son so we should be praying for our president you know and the Bible also talks about the authorities above us to pray for them a lot of Christians don't do that they want to accuse the authorities and say that it's all their fault for everything that happens say that they're the devil but why don't we as Christians pray for these authorities why don't we as Christians get into politics and to bring Jesus Christ into the light of politics? Some people say that politics is not for Jesus, is not for religion. Well, Jesus is not a religion, it's a relationship. You know, once you get to know who God truly is, you'll understand that God is more of a relationship type of person, not a religion that I have to go every single Sunday to do this and do that and I got to you know, bow down every hour of every day to, to be close to God. Whoever made those things up is a bunch of BS. Whoever made those things up is a lie, is a Pharisee. And I'm sorry, but a lot of pastors are Pharisees. That's just the way it is. Um, unfortunately, pastors can be Pharisees just as well as Pharisees were Pharisees back in Jesus' time where even Jesus said to the Pharisee that you are of your father, the devil. So obviously the devil has people in religion. The devil is in religion too. The devil knows who Jesus is. Demons know who Jesus is. So we need to not give the devil as much credit as he has and start praying for people. Praying for the politics, praying for your pastors, praying for the police officers, Praying for every human being on this earth that none shall perish but all come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with you out there that you say, oh, well, this person's the devil. We need to stay away from him. Did Jesus say that stuff? No, Jesus said, pray for those who persecute you. Pray for those who are your enemy. Jesus loves everybody. Some people won't listen, but that's just the way things are. It upsets me that people don't want to follow Christ the right way. They use the Bible as a crutch to have their own way happen. That's called selfishness. You can use the Bible to make it sound like you want it to sound. But is it true? No. Not really. A lot of people say that Hitler was a Christian or all the stuff that happened back in the, uh, the Crusades. They were all Christians. Well. If they didn't follow Jesus, and if they didn't even follow what the law said, like, thou shall not kill, 
You're not a Christian. You're not a believer. Thou shalt not kill is one of the biggest ones. And if you're, you're a leader of the Crusades, were there Christians in the Crusades? Maybe. Doing what they were told to do? Yeah, because they were deceived. And same with Hitler. Were there Christian Germans? Maybe. Just doing what they were told to do so they wouldn't die? Maybe. But Hitler was not a Christian. The Crusades, whoever led that stuff, were not Christians. Jesus said, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not covet. Come on, read the Ten Commandments, everybody. Thou shall not commit adultery. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Read the Bible for yourself. This whole stuff about, oh, well, you know, Christians are horrible people. Christians are not horrible people. You want to think that so that you think you're better than us. I have chosen to be a Christian because of the things that I went through. The things I know. The things I've seen. And then yet atheists call me an idiot for believing that stuff. Well, I call them an idiot for believing their stuff. But maybe they thought about things. Maybe they went through things and they, they just believe what they be know and think and believe. I believe in my heart that it's the devil deceiving them and somebody needs to show them what true love is, who Jesus truly is, but it's hard. It's hard for people. So who's going to be the president? That's your question. Who is going to be the president? I think the president is going to be Donald Trump. I would like him to be. I think maybe he's a baby Christian that needs some guidance in a Christian walk. But if he's not, guess what? No matter who the president is, God's gonna have his way. And he's gonna have his way in the things that are written in the Bible. I mean, if you think about it, if you read Revelations, if you are really into looking up history and truth, look what's going on now in this world and look at what's written in the Bible. You can't tell me that what was written in the Bible was from just a man himself and everything that's happening now is just coincidence. No, it's prophetic. God prophesied things. The, the Bible was written 2,000 years ago, you know, in Revelations. How does 2,000 years ago have to deal with now? It blows my mind. I mean, come on, people. Get with the program. God's going to have his way no matter who is the president or not. Will he tarry if the right president comes in? Maybe, maybe not. The devil's gonna still be the one to wanna take the throne of the earth because he's the prince of the earth, but he's no longer the prince of the earth. He was the prince of the earth, if people read the Bible properly. And he hates humans. The devil and his angels hate humans. That's me, you, everybody else who's watching this. I'm sure no alien's gonna be watching this. I'm sure no dog who understands me is gonna be watching this. I'm sure all humans that watch this and understand, even no computer will understand this. Us humans need to unite with each other. Red, black, yellow, white. We need to unite and be humans. Racism is stupid. We've gotten out of racism for a long time, but for some weird reason, racism is rising back up. Who's the doing of that? The devil. So stop listening to the devil and start giving your life to Jesus. And who knows, Jesus may tarry instead of come back and send his wrath upon us. You know, because God loves us. He doesn't want us to be destroyed. He wants us to live in harmony and peace and love. And no, free sex is not love. That's called adultery and fornication. Does it happen? Yes, it happens. Do we need to repent? Yes, we need to repent. Will it happen again? It might happen again in your life. I struggled with it when I was younger, before I got married. Thank God for my wife. And thank God for my little babies. And my son who's going to be healthy, wealthy and wise. My daughter is going to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. Look at that face. How can you say that that's just a coincidence? She's a creation. Created by God. Yes, of course, I had to have sex with my wife to make her. But God did everything else.
And for those of you who don't believe that God is a good God and think that God puts cancer in everybody, you know what? There's good in this world. There's evil in this world. God is in this world. The devil's in this world. I think the devil does all the bad stuff. The devil puts in your head, oh, if God was real, why would this happen? Why would that happen? You know what? Because the devil's messing with us, and we're not praising the Lord and giving God the glory for everything he's given to us. We look at all the negative stuff instead of the positive stuff. I'm just ranting, ranting, ranting. So love you guys. God bless you. See you next time. Like the video. Share it. Likey, likey, likey. If you like my daughter, then I want you to like this video and share this video. <laughs>